The ability to perform and interpret microwave measurements are fundamental skills necessary for success in the microwave field. Microwave measurements require the use of specialized equipment and techniques often much different from those used in lower frequency electronics. As such, there are many concepts to learn and many unique hardware items to identify as a necessary part of instruction in microwave fundamentals. Also, since the intent of this course is to be practical, the instruction will rely heavily on measured data so the study of measurements at this early phase of the course should provide important perspectives for understanding the microwave theory topics of future programs. The components used to make microwave measurements are different from those used at lower frequencies for several reasons. For example, microwave devices can't be connected using conventional wiring, so there is no room within the transmission structures to attach meters and scope probes, and to make measurements like those made at lower frequencies. Most microwave signals are also confined within shielded and isolated transmission structures of specified impedances, so access to measurement probes must be accomplished in a way that maintains a circuit's impedance while preventing loading and radiation. Additionally, the short wavelengths of microwave signals are always changing phase so direct measurements of voltage or current won't provide useful information about these signals anyway. Accurate measurements of microwave components, circuits, and signals require the use of specialized measurement components that fit into or between microwave structures. The electronic instruments that connect to these measurement components are also specialized, and the properties that are measured likewise depend on what can be practically determined within the transmission structures. Over the years, microwave measurement practices have become quite refined and standards have been established for procedures and performance. These measurements are often separated into two categories. One is called signal measurements and the other is called components or circuits measurements. Signal measurements are concerned with the important dimensions of existing microwave signals including power, frequency, wavelength, modulation characteristics, and bandwidth. Components or circuits measurements are used to evaluate or specify the performance characteristics of a particular component or system. They include the frequency response measurements of gain and loss, attenuation, and impedance factors as they relate to power transfer and phase. And they include the electrical properties of resistance, inductance, and capacitance. Components or circuits measurements require the use of a controlled microwave signal source applied to their inputs and usually some signal measurement equipment at their outputs to indicate the effects of the components on the applied microwave signal. Effective components measurements thus depend on some skill and knowledge with signal measurements and with the generation of microwave signals. Furthermore, skill in the basic electronic measurements of DC power and of modulation signals are also necessary for effective components measurements, as many of the microwave devices within components and circuits must be powered, and they may have other signals applied to their inputs.